there and thanks so much for joining us here on Valley Por Vida. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Now, the United Health Foundation recently released the America's Health Rankings 2023 Senior Report, which highlights strengths, challenges, and disparities in the health and well-being of older Americans across all of 50 states. Texas ranked 38th this year, and Dr. Mayreen Hernandez, National Medical Director at United Healthcare, is here on the show today to tell us a little bit more about those findings. So go ahead and take a look at this segment sponsored by our friends over at United Healthcare. The Americans Health Rankings is a longstanding commitment from the United uh, Health Foundation. Um, it actually is a report and it provides and it helps states and our country um, ranking and giving information about the state challenges and strengths with respect to their health care um, in hopes to improve public health. This year, especially, we're focusing on the senior report and some of the highlights and the most notable is that we're finding uh, early drug deaths associated to drug use among our seniors. That's a substantial increase nationally, about 43% increase if we compare 2016, 2018 to 2019, 2021. That's definitely an eye-opening statistics. Um, establishing within the state level, a prescription drug monitoring program, um, basically increasing the distribution of laloxone through that program and education and monitoring how many prescriptions and how, how many, basically also the physicians that are also prescribing um, these medications in our seniors. Well, the report doesn't tell you the whys. Um, some of the things that we've noted that food insecurity nationally has decreased, um, at least when you compare that to year 2019 to 2020. So one kind of makes you question whether this, you know, especially home delivery and meals, whether this is associated directly outpouring to the health that occurred during the pandemic years, right? Because this, this data kind of gives you that, you know, information. Um, in basically the other thing that we saw overall was actually that the cognitive difficulties that uh, our seniors usually, um, uh, you know, experience, that also decreased substantially about roughly 6% if you compare to uh, year 2019 to 2021. And the other positive is, again, is looking at things like high-speed internet. There was increased access nationally up to 7% when you compare that to previous years. One of the things that the United Health Foundation does is, is to encourage to use this report, right? To use this report as a resource to provide, you know, information. So then those leaders can come up, look at the challenges for that state and actually build healthier communities um, and encourage our seniors. I think one of the messages here is that encourage our seniors to reconnect with their communities um, and then to support them socially. It is such an important thing for a senior to maintain their independence because overall you, you may note improvements within their health. Again, the United Health Foundation encourages the use of America's Health Rankings reports as a resource for building healthier communities. Their team urges leaders to engage in data-driven discussions about you know, solutions to the challenges that are revealed by this report. And it's important to encourage seniors to reconnect with their communities while supporting social services to help them maintain that independence and overall improving of health. So feel free to visit americashealthrankings.org to read the entire report, dissect state summaries as well as learn more. That's all we've got for now, but thanks so much for watching. We'll definitely see you next time here on Valley Por Vida.